Hey guys, Poji here. In this video, we're going to dive deep uh, into some uh, elements which are going to be a great food for thought. So whenever you're creating uh, a brainstorming session or a UX uh, review, or whenever you need to really create uh, strategies uh, around uh, UI UX objectives in general. So let's get started with uh, the basics. Now from a high level, we're going to discuss uh, three basic elements uh, which uh, are going to help you get uh, a basic uh, structure in order to pretty much tackle most uh, of uh, the brainstorming sessions or reviews uh, of that matter. And uh, that is going to be a sort of inspiration for you to get started. So the very first part is going to be the SWOT analysis. Now, I'm a great fan of the SWOT analysis because at its core, the concept is to focus on these four elements, but you can actually create an entire brainstorming session around just one or two of these. Usually it's going to be the strengths and the weaknesses, while opportunities and threats are going to be more case specific. So getting started with the very first part, uh, I like to think about the SWOT analysis uh, in terms of uh, the strengths initially. So whenever you're tackling a project, say that you're creating uh, a brainstorming session in order to talk about uh, how you can make a project uh, a success, uh, you can uh, talk about the strength. So identifying what are the strengths that you want to emphasize in a, in a specific project and what could be the weaknesses. So what could be the shortcomings or things that you are going to need to keep top of mind in order to make this project a success and avoid the potential issues which are going to be identified as the weaknesses. Now, also you can consider the opportunities. So there's going to be opportunities. And by the way, this can be applied for a project, but can easily be applied to pretty much anything UI UX. So even uh, I'm using the SWOT analysis in my life. Sometimes I utilize this framework when I need to make big decisions in life or simply have a structured approach in order to make a decision which has a rationale behind it in a structured way. So that being said, uh, the opportunities, again, are another area that uh, you might want to consider and also what are going to be the threats. So this is going to refer to potential external risks that could impact the project success and uh, this can uh, really arrange it to uh, a variety of things. And then another thing that uh, I really like to do, especially when uh, I'm working in uh, uh, teams in a FigGem uh, project, just like this one, is uh, I would uh, identify and put down uh, either a flow or a specific uh, imagery or screen uh, that I like uh, to discuss uh, since uh, a uh, single image is going to communicate a thousand words. And uh, of course, as you're a designer, you already know that uh, we are visual people. So you already understand the benefits of this. And uh, <clears throat> essentially after that, uh, I'd like to essentially have uh, the opinion from the team. So one really cool exercise that you can do is to actually uh, have uh, a series of uh, sticky notes uh, that uh, each and every team member is uh, that is participating to the brainstorming session uh, um, is going to add and uh, they can uh, essentially add uh, the thoughts uh, or the points uh, that uh, we are focusing on. So how does this work uh, in a real life scenario? An idea could be if we're examining a flow, we could uh, actually focus on a segment of screens and even maybe just on uh, one single screen uh, in order to make things easier. And uh, yeah, this one is not enlarging as it should, but just to get the point across, you want to, for example, focus on this screen and uh, 
we're going to go on a three minute session where we're going to focus just on the weaknesses of the SWOT analysis. So this means that each and every uh, member of the team that is participating on the call is going to have three minutes in order to note down in the sticky notes what uh, is a current weakness uh, or what is uh, something that uh, is possibly wrong or that's not going to help in the long run with this specific screen. And at the end, uh, you're going to have all sorts of ideas on how you can improve this screen. Now, I mentioned a single screen just to make it easier, but it can even be a flow, which is uh, uh, more or less complex. Of course, if you're giving uh, a very short uh, turnaround time, such as three minutes, uh, it's not going to be e as easy to go through many screens. So you want to keep things as easy and simple as possible, especially if uh, the other designers or team members aren't as familiar as you with the project. But this is just an idea of how you can utilize uh, the SWOT analysis uh, in order to gather information and uh, ideas fast and efficiently. And uh, this uh, is uh, can be replaced easily with uh, other elements. It doesn't necessarily need to be actual screens. This can be an idea for expanding the team or how do you want to uh, create uh, the next level of uh, the design workflow within a team or even exploring business opportunities. This is uh, just a, a blank canvas that you can uh, customize and uh, really make it uh, for your own. So utilizing this combination of SWOT analysis a subject matter of uh, some sort uh, and uh, collaborating in uh, short sprints uh, with uh, the other designers or team members in your team uh, can really help you generate uh, a lot of ideas uh, and create brainstorming sessions which uh, are guided, structured and uh, that are guaranteed to yield uh, at least uh, some results. But in most cases I've seen a great uh, success in utilizing this format and um, it really helped a lot in uh, several instances in my UI UX career. So this, uh, uh, just one more note, uh, this can be applied for designers but uh, it can be really useful to align uh, uh, top level management for example in a company and uh, you can do this exercise with uh, founders, uh, with uh, uh, co-founders, uh, marketing managers and uh, any uh, L, any person which uh, is going to be uh, making uh, high level decisions. So you can actually discuss some uh, pretty high level ideas and concepts uh, and uh, utilize uh, this uh, structure in order to make it uh, very easy and structured overall. So I hope this video was uh, helpful. Uh, let me know if uh, you're interested in uh, learning more about uh, this type of uh, uh, UX dynamics uh, and uh, even more high level dynamics uh, compared to my usual um, tutorials. But um, yeah, hope uh, this video was uh, helpful. And if you want to learn uh, UI UX, I have over 900 videos on my YouTube channel which are completely free. So I invite you to have a look and I'll see you in the very next video.